Hi friends, welcome to Love and Life's Journey. I'm Chantel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I am at my favorite Dollar Tree. It's almost two hours away from our house in Baker City, Oregon. And we are actually here for my birthday, just to have a birthday weekend. And we're staying at the Geyser Grand Hotel. If you want to see that vlog, make sure you are subscribed to my other channel. The link is in the description box below. But for now, we're gonna go in and check out the Baker City Dollar Tree. So like most Dollar Trees, when you first walk in, the seasonal items are up front. There's a whole row of fall decor, and this store certainly doesn't disappoint. I really like this pumpkin home sign. I love the colors, and it's just a really cute sign. And these are new as well, these planks. Those will be great for crafting. I've been watching for the velvet pumpkins and I found those here. And I have never seen these before. These checked pumpkins, they had them in blue, orange, and the black and white check, which I really, really like. And to go with the big checked pumpkins, they have these packages of five small checked pumpkins in the black and white and the orange and white. Another new item are these fall rub-on transfers. And look, Dollar Tree now has wooden beads. That is awesome. I think these are new as well. These are stems of three velvet pumpkins and they have them in the white, the orange, and the turquoise. I love these berry garlands. They have these at fall and Christmas and they are wonderful for crafting. And I like these burlap leaves too. I just like the texture and the colors of those. And they also have some new colors. Great for fall in these storage bins in different shapes and sizes. And I think this is the first time I've seen these. These are metal buckets in fall colors and they have uh, fall and Thanksgiving sayings. And they also have these little pillows that have the little hangers on them. These are really cute and you could use these in a tiered tray or just in miscellaneous decorating. This store has a huge floral aisle. I mean, look at all of these fall florals, and then they still have all of the other colors of florals as well. And this is the first time that I have seen the twisted paper ribbon at Dollar Tree. And look at all of the different colors that they have. For those of you who like the little miniature fairy gardens, they did have a few of the fall styles and some Halloween houses. They had little barns and black cats, these are little apples, and of course a little red truck with pumpkins. So one reason I love this store is because it's so big that they can keep like items from different seasons out all year long. So it is September and they have tons of Valentine's things out. And the Crafter Square section is really big in this store as well. They had a lot of those laser wood cutouts and a lot of the galvanized signs and um, pieces. These little metal bins are new. And I've seen these candlesticks in the black and the white, but I've never seen them in this color with kind of the ombre look. And uh, I haven't seen these pink ones before either. And these iridescent purple candle holders are really pretty. Those I haven't seen before either. And look what I have found. The 2022 
farmhouse calendars. These are pretty cute. It's no wonder that they are flying off the shelves and are so hard to find. And here's a random item. Hipster cat. Pin the stash on the cat game. Yes, never know what you might find at Dollar Tree. Well, I am back home now, so let me show you what I got in this Dollar Tree haul. I'm really excited because I found some really fun new items for fall. These fall rub-on transfers are so pretty. I really love the designs. They're just soft, muted colors, and just really elegant. So I picked up three of those. And I couldn't resist these cute little Thanksgiving and fall gnome stickers. These are really cute also. I also grabbed a couple rolls of the wired fall ribbon. These are really pretty. They do have a little bit of gold shimmer in both of these, uh, but uh, it's not like too overpowering. And I did grab one of those velvet pumpkins. This is more of the actual like teal green, but it's kind of showing blue on the video. And of course I got some of those black and white pumpkins as well as some of the packages of small pumpkins in the black and white and the orange and white. And speaking of black and white check, I also found this fabric with the cute blue truck and pumpkins on it as well as a piece of fabric with just fall leaves. These are 20 inches by 21 inches and uh, just a nice little piece of craft fabric to have on hand. I did pick up one of those metal buckets. I really liked the saying on this one. It's a good reminder. And I really liked this ceramic pumpkin. It looks really high end for just a Dollar Tree ceramic pumpkin, but I thought it was really pretty. I did grab one of those foam carvable pumpkins. I did notice they also have them in black and solid white now as well. I like these new stems with the three velvet pumpkins on them and kind of a new color combination this year for fall they are these orange and kind of blue colors. What do you think about those? Do you like that or are you thinking that blue is just not a fall color? I also like these little miniature sunflowers. These are just on stems and so you could use them in like a small floral arrangement or just as an embellishment on your DIY projects. I also like the size of these little pumpkins in this four pack. They're just on a stem as well. And I, so I picked up some of those. And I grabbed this sign that has the galvanized blessed word on it. They had several different words. I think thankful and grateful maybe. And then I grabbed one of these mason jar shaped signs. I thought the design on this one was really pretty. And I was happy to find this little metal sign, the little wagon that says Farm Fresh Pumpkins. I thought that was really cute as well. These aren't really fall, but they had these galvanized stars, and these will be great for Christmas crafts or even for those patriotic holidays, so I picked up some of those. I did pick up one package of these wooden acorns. I thought these might come in handy for fall DIYs. And I also found these Halloween and fall DIY pins, although they're actually little clothes pins, so it's almost more like clips. <laughs> but I got some jack-o'-lanterns, or they can just be painted to use as pumpkins. I got some leaves, and I got the little trucks. In the wood cutouts, I also found these Color Your Own ornaments. This is a five pack of pumpkin shapes. But they also had the maple leaves, which had eight in a package, and they had the acorns, which also had eight in a package. 
I actually think the pumpkins were left over from last year and I think they've actually started putting more in the packages. I think these are new this year in this color. I know we've been able to get them in orange, but I think this white color is new this year for these pumpkin picks. And of course I picked up some berry garland because I love this so much. I use it in all kinds of graphs. I believe these Harvest DIY words are new. There are six in the package and they are Farm Fresh, Hello Fall, Welcome Fall, Blessed, Give Thanks, and Hello Autumn. These will be great for DIYs, so I picked up a couple packages of those. And I grabbed some of the Rub On Transfer stickers that were for fall. They had four different designs, I think. The Grateful, Thankful, Blessed, Hello Autumn with those big pumpkins, so cute. They also had pumpkin spice and everything nice. And the last one they had was Happy Fall, y'all. So I'm curious, have you started drinking those pumpkin spice drinks and everything else that comes out in pumpkin spice this time of year? I personally don't really love the pumpkin spice. Also new this year, these DI rock painting kits. I think these would be really cute to paint and put in a tiered tray. And they had several different styles of these. I was surprised to find that they did have this farmhouse pumpkin with the monogram letter J on it for our last name. I was surprised because they only had a few and they did have the right letter for me. I picked up this Harvest Wishes sign. This is in the unfinished wood. And then I also grabbed a couple of these three-dimensional pumpkins. I really like the shape of these and the fact that they are three-dimensional. I picked up one package of the metal words for fall and Thanksgiving. And they say, Welcome, Harvest, and Thankful. So if you've watched my channel for any amount of time, you know I love using these signs and DIYs. They are so versatile. I have made everything from a Keurig K-cup coffee holder to a calendar holder to a, a floral centerpiece with these. Um, there's just so many things you can do with them because they're open in the back. But I really like these fall designs. They have really come out with some pretty designs um, for the signs as they are as well. I also like to do DIYs with the window clings when I can find some really cute designs. And I really like these. Again, they are that kind of teal blue color with the orange. Um, but I, I really... I'm liking how this is looking together. Of course, I had to pick up some of those wooden beads and these are four feet long um, each strand. So you get four feet of these beads for just a dollar. One of my favorite new finds at Dollar Tree were these home sweet home signs. And then they have another one that says love lives here. And these are so very farmhouse and really, really cute. I think these are a great deal for a dollar. I have seen these the last couple of times I've been at Dollar Tree, but I picked a couple up today. These are uh, wall hooks, and they say, bless this house, and simply blessed. And I was kind of surprised to see that it says each hook will hold up to 12 pounds. These were new in the Crafter Square section, 15 sheets of tear-off paint palettes, and so I'm going to give these a try. And I picked up a new roll of vinyl paper for my Cricut machine. This is an iridescent uh, paper. 
And they also had, wait for it, buffalo plaid. Super excited about that. I did pick up a couple of these square signs from Dollar Tree and I didn't pick them up for the design. I picked them up because they are the exact size of those calendars that Dollar Tree carries as well. So if you're looking for something to put some of those designs on, those square wood signs are perfect. And of course, I picked up one each of all of the farmhouse calendar designs that I could find. These have been so hard to find, and I know a lot of items are hard for you to find at your Dollar Tree stores, which is why every month I do a giveaway for a Dollar Tree mystery box full of those hard to find items, at least the ones that I can find. And so um, leave a comment on this video to be entered into the September drawing for the mystery box. And at the end of the month, I will be drawing a comment randomly and I will be sending the winner a box of goodies from Dollar Tree. Hopefully things that uh, you will be excited about and uh, that you haven't been able to find in your stores. So make sure you leave a comment on this video to be entered. The designs on this truck calendar are so cute and my personal favorite, the Flower Market VW Bus. So as you can see, I got a pretty good haul at the Baker City, Oregon Dollar Tree. This is why this store is my favorite and why I am willing to drive almost two hours to visit it. I go maybe three times a year and I'm always blessed to find so many great items there. If you enjoyed coming along with me to this Dollar Tree store and seeing all of the things that I got, be sure you leave a big thumbs up on this video. It really helps my channel. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to set your notifications so that YouTube will notify you when I upload new videos. Because if you leave a comment on this video, you may just win that Dollar Tree mystery box and you'll need to know when I announce the winner. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all, and I hope you have a blessed day.